Hi guys, it's Christina the Walking Mama and today I have for you different types of absorbencies in cloth diapers. So if you missed my cloth diaper tutorial on what are the different types, make sure you look in the iCard, I think it's over here. I'll have that linked above and I'll make sure to put it in the description box below. So when it comes to covers and pockets, you have a lot of different options for what is your absorbent core. So most pocket style diapers come with microfiber. And this is actually a set from Bum Genius Pockets. Um, this is their newborn insert, which I use as a doubler. And then this is what they call their one size insert. So this actually snaps down to adjust with the rise setting on your diapers. Um, I tend to like microfiber. Most parents don't, but I do not have an exceptionally heavy wetter. Um, I like that microfiber absorbs very quickly, but it doesn't go directly up against baby skin. And actually, when I work with microfiber for a longer time, so when I'm doing all of my diaper stuffing, I tend to get little mini cuts on the top on the end of my fingertips because it absorbs all the moisture from my hands and so I always have to put on lotion after I stuff my microfiber pockets. Uh, another type of just straight up insert this is going to be charcoal bamboo and this is a five layer insert as well. Now I love that this has the bamboo on the outside because that's super soft up against baby's skin and this can go directly up against baby's skin it does have microfiber on the inside, which gives you that quick absorbency, which I really like. And then this is a hemp insert. Um, hemp does absorb a little bit slower, but it holds more. So I really like having a hemp as a booster for a microfiber also. I like doing that for overnight because that way I can get a very good absorbency without having to add a lot of extra bulkiness. Now, hemp's do tend to be some of the thinner inserts because it doesn't take as much of their fabric to absorb the same amount. So I like using these as doublers, but I know plenty of people who will use this just as their every single day insert. Um, I do find that it doesn't absorb quite as quickly. So if you do have a super soaker or potentially a little boy that it's all targeted in one area, I have a girl so I'm not sure, it could overwhelm the hemp and you might get some leaks if it goes so quickly that this can't absorb it in time. Another type of absorbent core is going to be a prefold. And now this is what our parents think of when they think of cloth diapering. So prefolds come in many different sizes. This is a newborn size. I think this is a size three or four. Um, so with prefolds, there is the thicker piece down the middle and then the two smaller pieces. Now what I do with mine is I just pad fold them which means fold them into thirds and use that inside of a pocket or inside of a cover just as is but there are several different folds that you can use for this and then attach it with like a snappy or safety pins if you're going old school or uh, there's this new thing called a boingo and it will just hold it together without hurting your baby by accidentally poking them like you could with safety pins. Um, a lot of parents will end up using prefolds as burp cloths as well and they are really great for that. I love that I can bleach them very easily if I need to, though I haven't needed to because I have a proper wash routine. Um, I like that after I am past this stage I could also just use this as a cloth in my kitchen or I can resell them because they are very, very, very durable. Um, this is going to be one of the cheaper ways of going because it's just a piece of cloth. That's it. Um, you can get these with de several different fabrics. I know you can get them in hemp and you can get them in exclusively bamboo. I, mine are just cotton ones and I really like them. They're very, very absorbent. And then the other type that's going to be along those lines is going to be a flat. And a flat is what it says it is. It is a flat piece of cloth that you fold to fit your baby. I'm not sure if I can get all this in the frame. So you can see it's about three feet long. 
and I can just fold it up to have it fit my baby. Now there are lots and lots and lots of different folds on the market. It really depends on how adventurous you are in your folding. For me, just like with the pre-folds, I fold it into thirds and it really does a good job of keeping all the moisture in one location. Now I did not start, try this method until after my daughter was past the exclusively breastfed stage. So I'm not sure how well a pad folded pre-fold or a pad folded flat in a cover would do at keeping in the exclusive breast milk poop. <laughs> That's, it's very runny. This may or may not contain it all very well. Um, but I like that I can bleach these. This is actually a flower sack towel, which is less than a dollar each. So it's a very economical way of going when it comes to cloth diapering. Um, and I can use these as hand towels if I don't want to throw them away when my diapering days are done. Alright, so that's all I have for you today on the uh, different absorbency levels of cloth diapers. There's no one right or wrong answer. It just depends on the amount of wetter that you have and the situation that you're going for. I have tried all of these. I've owned all of these. I've liked all of these for different reasons. I like that I can mix and match. That's one of the beauties of cloth diapering is that if I want to put flat and a hem and then a bamboo on top of something, I can if that's what it takes to last me the duration that I need. If you have any questions about different absorbencies, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future cloth diaper videos. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.